It's not my job to call me brutal. It's all because of your willingness to be weak. Hogni's alias Black Demon Sword Dainslev, which is a direct reference to his magic name. He was the one who praised his transformation from Dark Knight to the real Dark Warrior Lord, fanatical and enthusiastic, the gods are fans and give the best praise. Ten people, ten more people, he slaughtered the adventurers at increasing speed. Seeing the Dark Elf transform into a ruthless and cold King of War, killing and devastating, Tsubaki, who was one step away from him, said with a trembling voice, Servant of Lily, give me that call to rise of level. Hi. Hurry up, it's urgent. As soon as the confused atmosphere emerged, there was a powerful magic power rising from far away from Tsubaki, and a golden beam of light like a hammer appeared above his head. The level of sublimation gifted by the sorceress lived in him, and his skill was increased by LV-5 to LV-6. However, Tsubaki's sweat kept flowing. With the exception of her, all the other adventurers fell, forming an arena stained with bright red blood. The one who is qualified to fight me to the death is you, Cyclops. That's natural, you demon sword. Let me break your demon sword. She brought out such a smile in her quick words, and immediately erased it, and assembled her favorite knife, Rain of Red Time. A gust of wind blew, shaking the dark elf's coat and making a noise. In the central army that was on the brink of destruction, the battle king and the blacksmith began to clash. The fixed number cannot be changed. This sword is your tombstone. In an instant, the figures of the two disappeared, delivering fierce sword slashes. Tsubaki. Welf screamed loudly when he heard the sound of a sword being slashed viciously from behind. This is a sword dance that Welf from LV-2 can't tell. The pitch black sword and the long knife clashed and then slid away, and the flying sparks turned into a trajectory, indicating that there was a cut here. The battle between the two level 6s that produced afterimages made Welf gasp, and then he clenched his fists again. Whether it's a one-on-one -on -one fight or not, it must be supported. Lily's attendant mentioned the magic of the Black Demon Sword. My invisible wisp magic will be very effective. Lily shared all the information about Freya Familia that Finn knew. Of course, Hogni's magic is also included. Personality change magic, this will consume mental power at all times, and the body also has magic power. The same is true for the mesmerizing light flickering in the eyes and the deep purple glow like sun flames emanating from the body. And if there is magic power there, Welf's anti-magic magic can turn it into flame and cause flames. Like bestow magic, personality-altering magic that had to be cast continuously was an excellent target for wealth. Burn, Foreign Law Karma He held the magic sword in his left hand, then extended his right hand to the other side. Infuse mental power to extend range to the limit. That way, even if he couldn't quickly and accurately see the opponent, he could cover Hogni's movement range. He aimed across the entire arena where Tsubaki's sword was still crossing and shouted the ultra-short chant all at once. Willow Wisp. However. It's like hitting the wheel with a long stick. It was like a light cat kicking the ground and running fast. A moment before the anti-magic magic was activated, the sound of foot snapping was heard. In an instant. From Welf's right shoulder, pieces of meat flew. The quick cut swept across the field of view, and a large chunk of the shoulder was excavated. The moment Welf, whose river of time was gradually closing, realized, being attacked, blood gushed from the unearthed section and a scream erupted from his throat. Like a doll, wandering feebly in the air. Don't play with me here, what a mess. The voice came from the right. Welf turned and saw him. You are. 
Chariot of the Goddess, Alan Fromel. The adventurer who easily interrupted Welf's magic just stood there with a silver weapon in his hand. Silver shoulder armor attached to the left shoulder, from which an emerald green one shoulder cape extends. The armor is just the shoulder armor and the silver leg armor that covers the knees. This equipment he never thought would get shot was why he was the fastest in town. Welf, whose face was contorted with sweat and burning pain, didn't know. The Chariot of the Goddess. If he wears a one-shoulder jacket, it proves that he will face this fight with all his might. I was going to kill you with one blow like before. You walked away just now. Wouldn't you like to get run over by me again? In Sacrifice of the Goddess, Welf was also attacked by Alan, and now his body unconsciously moved the moment he picked up the chilling sound of smacking feet. This is just a moment of defensive instinct that prevented his instant death. But, it's useless. Waste of time. Quickly disappear. He was furious. However, Welf shook off the searing pain, and the roar only lasted for a moment, and Alan intimidated him in front of him in an instant. Immediately began a violent explosion of silver weapons. The right arm hangs weakly, and it's amazing that it's still connected to the body. All Welf can do is turn his body to the side and use the magic sword Shigao Huangyue in his left hand as a shield to block the attack. This stance also looks like a funny child hiding behind the tree trunk, but unable to completely block the body. He covered his body with a longsword-shaped magic sword and withstood the continuous blows from the spear tip like a mountain of spades. But it was still cut. Kimono, skin and the entire body were also gradually lost. Blood, grit and the will to fight back. The left hand holding the magic sword and the shoulder against the sword's spine couldn't stop screaming because of the impact that penetrated the defense. Muscles collapsed and even bones broke, gradually destroying the entire body. The spear thrust, which can only be described as raging waves, pushed Welf into a hopeless situation in an instant. It keeps breaking. At the same time, Alan showed a surprised expression. Despite stabbing and shaking countless times, the demon sword of wealth does not shatter. The usual magic sword is a consumable item, but this sword seems to surpass it, showing the makers relentless towards it. His sharp eyes changed, and the steps ahead of him became clear obstacles. What is the problem with this magic sword? I made it, just a magic sword. Hearing Alan's question, Welf didn't brag. With the reserve of a blacksmith, he insisted. The knowledge work created in between is just a must point in a higher place. A mere magic sword cannot be broken, it seems you are nothing more than that. So, he held that bluff the entire time. Using the bruised body where the blood was still flowing, he forced a smile onto his face. However, this kind of teasing, the blacksmith rudely mocked the first-tier adventurer's figure, which didn't displease Alan, and his expression was the same as before. Your forging skill is worthy of my admiration. Instead, he calmly recognized well for the first time. But, that's all. And with murderous intent to stab wealth. He kicked the stone slab under his feet, triggering a high-speed acceleration. A blacksmith naturally couldn't answer. Welf transformed into a turtle, whose body was half covered by a magic sword, and he jumped to Welf's side in an instant and kicked him. With just that, Welf ushered in the ending. A kick from his right foot slammed into the flank and Welf's soul lifted off the ground. The young man's body was enveloped by a momentary feeling of suspension, and then another round kick with his left foot hit him hard. Numerous cracks appeared in the ribs, the body was torn off, rolled over the stone slab and landed miserably. 
The magic sword that wouldn't let go no matter what happened was bathed in the flowing blood and was dyed crimson. I told you before, you're a scoundrel. Just hide in the workshop and play with iron. That was the day that Ishtar Familia was wiped out. Same as when he first met Wealth, Alan said scornfully. You're misunderstanding something. A mere loser, how could this work on the battlefield? What Wealth did was stop him for less than a minute. Alan dropped the silent blacksmith to the ground and began to carry out his mission.